Coming up on Look Today, well, it's election day across the Tri-North Counties. We catch up with Mayor Joanne Yepsen and her challenger, John Safford, on the final day of the campaign. Plus, Glens Falls delays special event parking at its new parking garage, and I'll tell you why. And catch this, jazz musician Chris Brubeck is here. Talk about his upcoming performance with the Glens Falls Symphony Orchestra. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our lead story, election day has finally arrived, and many candidates are making last minute phone calls and shaking just a few more hands. Well, voters began heading to their polling places at 6 a.m. this morning, and will continue through 9 p.m. tonight. In Saratoga, the race for mayor was turned up another notch over this past weekend after Mayor Yepsen accused her opponent, John Safford, of having illegal campaign signs. Well, John Safford was voting this morning at the Saratoga City Center where we caught up with him and asked him about this issue. We found out that they were in violation of some of the uh, uh, you know, restrictions of the city. I can't really say I was sorry to see them. Uh, uh, certainly got me uh, some good name recognitions. And we also caught up with Mayor Joanne Yepsen at the Caroline Street Elementary School. Now she provided her thoughts on the signage as well. Absolutely not. Look, they were halfway in the middle of the road and they were distracting voters and we feel that what's much more important to voters and to residents is the quality of life that I can offer them, the open government and certainly that balance between open space and development. Now our cameras will be at tonight's Republican and Democratic election parties. And we'll get the reaction of the candidates. And you'll see that coverage on tomorrow night's broadcast. Now, you can also head to our website to see our recent interviews with all of the candidates. In Warren County, we will also have coverage of the Warren County Queensbury Supervisor at Large race, as well as the Warren County Sheriff's race. A lot of coverage. Well, changing from news to what we're calling beautiful weather today, it may be November, but no one is warm Mother Nature, apparently. Temperatures across the region continue to stay in the mid to upper 60s. I saw 71 today, providing for another beautiful week. Well, how long will this weather be uh, hanging around? For the latest, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to the news. Well, a new parking garage in Glens Falls was supposed to have a flat fee for events happening at the Civic Center. However, due to a glitch in the system, that won't be happening for another year. The normal rate is free for the first 30 minutes and $2 an hour after that. Well, parking during hockey games was supposed to be $5 flat and $10 flat during concerts. Well, according to Glens Falls Mayor Jack Diamond, Technology that would allow them to switch the computerized system from City Hall is not yet available. Now, the council said that it would have to be done manually from the garage. Now, this could have forced the city to pay someone overtime in order to switch it twice per evening. Now, the council delayed the rate change for one year, but did allow themselves the option to change rates if the technology becomes available in the next few months. Hope you followed that. In other news, a preliminary hearing for Thomas Gorman. Now, he's the man who hit three Skidmore students has been delayed. Gorman and his public defender were in Greenfield Town Court yesterday evening. The defender asked and was granted an adjournment until December 14th. Gorman is being charged with aggravated DWI and first-degree vehicular manslaughter. Gorman's DWI charge was upgraded due to a similar charge in 2013. And Saratoga County DA Karen Hagan believes that additional charges will be filed against Gorman as an investigation continues. Now, this is due to the death of one of the students. Gorman was previously employed by Skidmore College. Still to come, co-founder of the Christopher Daly Foundation, Mark Daly, is here to discuss the Turkey Trot 5K on Thanksgiving in Saratoga. Plus, I sit down with jazz musician Chris Brubeck 
for part two of my interview about his legacy and, most importantly, his upcoming performance with the Glens Falls Symphony Orchestra to commemorate Veterans Day this Sunday, November 8th. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.